from the KATC Weather Lab. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, some good news, some bad news as we take a look at the Lafayette Almanac. Once again, temperatures below the normals. Uh, and also the good news is our normals are starting to come down. 93.75 the normal as we enter August, but now we're starting to see the effects of the cool fronts over years starting to impact those daily highs and lows. Uh, no cool fronts on our horizon, but uh, uh, as we look at our rainfall, uh, again, still a wet pattern, more than an inch in the bucket, nine inches so far this month just for Lafayette. That's nearly 200% of normal. And you might remember going back to June, just just a month and a half, two months ago, we were 16 inches behind on rainfall. Now we're less than seven inches behind normal on rainfall. So we gone is the drought. Now we're looking to just dry out. We don't see a pattern that's going to change sufficiently to allow us for to have sunny and dry weather. We're going to have to wait on a front or maybe a tropical system over here that brings in drier air over here. That's the only way things are going to change at this point, the way things are going. So as we take a look at the latest radar, you can see uh, over the last six hours, all the heavier rains now pushed off to the east after big rains up across the northern part of the state, uh, all moving into Mississippi. And now as we check out Power Doppler 3, all is relatively quiet. We do have a few leftover sprinkles, but you can see how action really quiets down. And as I mentioned earlier, the quiet time this time Time of year in this type of pattern is about 9 p.m. till about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Then showers get going uh, before daybreak and then they really get cooking during the daytime hours. Still flash flood watches in effect for the central and northern part of the state, uh, not uh, per se in Acadiana, but it does include Beauregard, Vernon, Rapides and Avoyles parishes. Uh, they do catch our signal there and catch us online as well. And thank you for watching, by the way. As we look at the big picture, you see those storms forming up across the area to today and uh, that'll do it again tomorrow. Tropics getting a little bit more interesting. We have a wave that's going to be coming off the African coastline that the Hurricane Center is giving about a 20% chance of development. This wave we've been watching that had the odds of development has uh, gone by the wayside. It's just a very weak area of low pressure that's going to be moving into a more hostile environment. And then this tropical wave is not organized, but it's looking a little bit more interesting as models capture this wave and begin to develop perhaps as we get into to the Caribbean. So let's take a look at those long range models and take a look at that tropical wave. Here's the European model. The waves there notice still plenty of red here, but as we get into Saturday, maybe some drier air trying to come in and maybe our rain chances are reduced. This tropical wave is not doing a whole lot, but you see the moisture kind of moving uh, through the Caribbean staying wet here and then heading toward the Northwest Caribbean. So uh, we do think this moisture is going to be heading for the Gulf. The question is whether it's going to be organized. Now here's the latest run of the GFS model capturing all the moisture still in the Gulf of Mexico. Nothing developing, uh, but the GFS is trying to develop this system by Cuba and perhaps uh, push it into the Gulf of Mexico with time. Uh, but again, we can't take these models for uh, anything serious quite now uh, until we see more model agreement and we see something really get going down the line. So no major worries for now. And by the way, uh, from July 3rd through August 22nd, we did not have a named storm in the Atlantic Basin. First time that has happened since 1982. So you're talking some 40 years. We'll take it and run. We can go without a storm in August. That'd be nice. So as we take a look at tomorrow morning, showers and storms firing up. Here we are at 4 o'clock in the morning, and then they become more widespread with on and off downpours once again. Heaviest rains look to be north of Acadiana, but we're going to catch an inch or two more than likely. This weak area of low pressure eventually evaporates and goes away, but we continue to see uh, the daily dousings continue continuing not only for Thursday, but also into Friday as well. This pattern uh, not coming to uh, an abrupt end anytime soon, although I think rain chances begin to ease later this week and a little bit more so this weekend. As for rain totals, we show you two different models and uh, this is the graph model and you can't take the actual numbers per se, but you can take say Lafayette. Okay, it shows eight tenths of an inch of rain on this model. Then we take a look at the latest her model. This is a more fresher model. You can see it's going for some hot spots. 
and going for about two and a quarter inches or two and a half inches or Lafayette. So you add the two together, come up with maybe 1.5 or 1.6 inches over the next two days. So keep that in mind. These are just always projections, but it shows you the nature of scattered showers and thunderstorms as well. 76 overnight tonight, showers and storms redeveloping after three o'clock in the morning and then going into tomorrow. Another day where it's going to be gray and occasionally stormy with some locally very heavy downpours. Look out for that street flooding. The grounds are saturated indeed, and you can see uh, it's going to be another one of those days where we don't see much sunshine, if any at all. Uh, by the weekend, maybe a little bit more sunshine and those rain chances easing down to about 50, maybe 60 percent, but we can't get it much closer to than to 20 or 30 percent mm. like what you would normally expect in August anytime soon. Be a while. Mm. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Rob. We'll be right back.